Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. Today I would like to thank all my subscribers, all my viewer watchers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. During this pandemic, we've been doing a lot of cooking, a lot of videos on different kind of machines. So today, during this pandemic, if we have any leftover food, today I have some leftover apples. So today I'm not going to throw them away. They're still fresh, as you can see, nice and shiny and everything. Today I'm going to make a special dish, dessert. So we went up to Apple Hill and we bought some Pink Lady apples, which is they are delicious and everything. And we have a lot of them. So what I say today, I'm going to make a nice dessert and use these apples. Today I'm going to make an apple graham dessert. Today, I'll be using my fresh pink lady apples. I'll be using one cherry, some real whipped cream, some graham crackers, one cup of brown sugar, two spoons of butter, and some fresh walnuts, and one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg. And today, I'll just be making this delicious dessert and when you have leftover fruit, not just apples, put it to use. Make dishes. Get together with your family. Ask to help do it together. During this pandemic, make everything different and make everything smooth for you. So let's get started. Now I'm going to peel my apples and get started on this dessert. And like I say, during the dessert, you can... You can just about make dessert out of anything. My apples is washed and everything. I'm just take my time and cut these apples real nice and good and slice them up and get ready. And we're just gonna slice it, cut that up like that. Okay, I'm gonna take my apple and cut my apple in half and get ready to slice it. I'm just gonna take this hog out of it a little. Just take it out a little like that. Take it come out. Put it to the side. Then I'm just slice. You just slice your apple up like this. And it's real easy. You can get your family to do it. If you don't want to do it, you can get your kids to do it. Like I say, during the pandemic, we all work together. Make things better at home. Get, get along with the kids. The kids get along with their parents. They can all help out. We all make different decisions on how we want to do things. So it's good to listen to the kids too because they come up with some pretty good ideas too. And cut it like that. And these are ready to go in here. Okay, so I'm going to put my butter in the skillet, which is I'm going to saute these apples real good. I'm just going to put the butter in like, like that and let it melt down before I put my apples in. As you see, my butter is melted. So what I'm gonna do now, while, while my butter is melted, I'm gonna take my apples that are sliced up and I'm just gonna put them in like that. I'm gonna put them apples in. Just all of them. And I'm just going to stir these up like this, and I'm going to let them cook down. And now I'm going to add my cinnamon in it. I'm going to add my nutmeg. And I'm going to add my brown sugar. I'm just pour it in there. And I'm just going to let mix it up and let it sit for a minute. Mix it up real good. And like I say, this is an easy dessert. Have it on the side after you eat your nice dinner. Or have it to knick-knack on. Or you can just knick-knack on it during the day. And these, this is going to be a nice, good dessert when I get through with it. As you see, my apples, they'll get nice and brown. The syrup is cooking in real good and everything's looking nice and delicious. And 
They'll be ready in a couple minutes. Like I say, it don't take much time for a dish like this. This is about maybe about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. As you see, the apples is cooking real nice and good. I'm going to sit this lid on it for a minute or two and just let it cook a little bit with the top on. Okay, these apples are done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take them out. Turn this stove off and I'm gonna put it in this bowl over here. And I'm gonna let it sit for a little while, let it cool off before I make the dessert. See, that's nice and good. That's nice and good. Okay, okay we're gonna try this dessert out. I'm gonna just break two of the grams and put it in the, you put it in the bottom of a bowl like that. And like I say, you could use how many grams you want to use, bigger bowl, smaller bowl, but I'm going to just put it like that and get it set in there to make it look nice and good. I have my two kids with me, Donnell and Shamel. They on their lunch break, so I'm going to do this real quick so they could test it out and let me know how it come out. I'm going to just get over here like this and just put a little of the apples on. As you see, the apples is nice and, nice and cooked and put a little juice on it. So it could soak in the, on the gram, like that. Maybe put a little more apple, put it like that, make it look nice and good. Put a little on this one. A little apple, like I say, you can use any kind of fruit you want to use and um, make dessert. And put a, little, put a little more juice over there. And you can put any kind of thing you want and now, then you get your little whip on it and you just do it like that. Put it like that. And put a little put a little nuts on it. Just to make it look nice and good. Put a little nuts around on it. And put a little nuts on there. Make it look nice and good. And also you could just sit a cherry on there to make it look good. And that's a nice good dessert. And you you can eat that. My kids gonna taste it and see what it tastes like. Like I say, this is a new dessert with the fruit we have left over. Let them taste it and see what it tastes like. It's kind of hot, so I don't really don't want them to burn itself. And my son, he's pretty good at tasting things, giving um and like I say, it only take about 20 to 30 minutes to cook something like this. If you want to have a dessert on the side. This tastes really good and the combination and everything fits really well with each other. So you guys should really try this out if you have a few apples laying around, some whipped cream and some graham crackers and you want to make a sweet dessert. Because it tastes really good, guys. It's really going to satisfy that sweet tooth. What can you say, Dee? She just took the words out of my mouth. Okay, and that that's cooking, cooking with, with the, the bells. bells. If, if you, you like it, subscribe, leave a comment, comment in the box. box. Thank, Thank you. you.